Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my top five current products that I would recommend anyone that's interested in having a healthier, cleaner, greener, more organic, less toxic lifestyle um, that I would recommend that they incorporate into their daily routines or their lives in some capacity. So, and shockingly, this list of five products does not include coconut oil. I feel like I've seen so many videos you know, in the last year really that are like, my top five uses for coconut oil. How magical is coconut oil, blah, blah, blah. And coconut oil is amazing. I have multiple jars of it here in my kitchen and in my bathroom, but my top five list does not include coconut oil. So let's get into it. So while it's not coconut oil, this product is also very ubiquitous in the green beauty community and it is the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and as you can see I have multiple varieties this is a staple in my home this is the unscented baby mild one super multi-purpose because you can customize it with your own essential oils so if you were just going to buy one Dr. Bronner's I would get this one for sure um, I wash my makeup brushes with this I make hand soap with this um, it's just it it, this one stays in my kitchen underneath the sink. Um, so I kind of customize it for cleaning. I make a countertop spray with it. Um, so yeah, this one is like super multi-purpose. Then this is the one I currently have in my shower. This is, this the, is the peppermint one. And I know a lot of people also uh, dilute this because you don't really need it to go full strength and you definitely can get longer use out of it by diluting it but I guess I'm kind of lazy so I just keep this in my shower and wash my body with it <laughs> and then this is the current little travel one I have this is the rose one and I gotta be honest I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of this one but I take it with me when I travel for hand washing because I don't really like to use bar soap at hotels or, you know, whatever. Um, and then I use this in the shower. And yeah, so I always kind of have a, a travel Dr. Bronner's to go with me. So super multi-purpose product for body care, for cleaning, um, for washing hands. I mean, it says 18 in one, like right on the bottle. There's supposed to be 18 uses. I probably wouldn't wash my hair with this. Um, as I think is like one of the uses, <laughs> but there's honestly so much you can do with it. And I think if you don't have any of this in your home, you ought to. Okay, the second one is also a kind of multi-purpose kitchen, food, cleaning, body product, but, and it's um, apple cider vinegar. The one that I always have around is the Bragg's um, because it's raw and unfiltered. And you can actually like it collects sediment here at the bottom of the thing so I like that I like sediment um, you know there's a, a slew of products like lemons and baking soda and Castile soap and apple cider vinegar and coconut oil that are very multi-purpose and kind of a non-toxic home but for some reason I use this the most of anything so I use this for salad dressing on like a daily basis this and olive oil and salt and pepper I use um, most recently I've been using it as a I dilute a little bit of this with some water and use it on my armpits before I put on a natural baking soda based deodorant and I'll have um, a more in-depth video about that with a review of the Schmitz deodorant which I got in my last petite vor box um, so so far this has been working for that I use this to condition my hair if I'm using a shampoo bar to re sort of um, remove buildup. It's a very clarifying product for that. I use this when I need to clean my Pyrex dishes. They get caked on kind of stuff from being in the oven. Like I'll make chicken breast with like a marinade and you should see the Pyrex dish after I make this chicken breast. It's like, it looks like volcanic ash. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to get this out? And all you do is you add some baking soda, some vinegar, and I use this and like a squirt of dish soap or castile soap and then I pour boiling water into it and let it sit overnight and it literally like you don't have to scrub at all it just like comes off so I find this an absolutely indispensable part of my life okay so the next thing that I would highly recommend for your health is a very good probiotic this is the one that I've been using for <clears throat> 
I don't know, maybe the last two years. So I've I've been into probiotics for quite a long time. I've taken, you know, the different ones you buy at Whole Foods and stuff. Um, and I was getting very into learning about the GAPS diet and Dr. Natalia Campbell, I think that's her name. She is one of these people that cured her, one of her kids from autism through diet and an elimination diet. And her philosophy kind of dovetails with a lot of the nourishing traditions, healthy home economist, um, traditional foods movement. And she... It seems like she really knows her stuff. She's also like a PhD chemist or scientist of some sort. And she has this dietary protocol called the GAPS diet. And it's basically a way to heal food allergies and kind of other diet related illnesses. <clears throat> and she highly, highly recommended this particular probiotic and it's called BioCult. And I order mine on Amazon and it doesn't need to be refrigerated and apparently this one is just supposed to be really good 14 protected probiotic strains proven to survive the high acidity of stomach acid no artificial colors flavors or preservatives made in the uk gluten-free blah -de -de blah 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 but i have noticed um when i first started taking it i did notice kind of a significant difference in my digestive health and just kind of the flow of my digestion if you apparently i have heard the most effective time to take this is after a meal so that you already have your stomach acids have kind of already been working and have been released and this will be most effective so i take this i don't even take it every day to be honest with you probably five days a week i'll take this after dinner if I'm traveling or if I've had a crazy weekend of partying, which has been known to happen, and I feel depleted, I'll take two a day for like a couple days. But this is at least my third or fourth box of this one, and I really, really like it. And I just think in general, um, taking a good probiotic is really good for your health, as we all know. Okay, so the fourth one, ladies is a diva cup i'm not going to actually show you my diva cup because that's let's face it that's gross this one is at least a year old maybe even more um and the only people that have seen this are me and my ex-boyfriend <laughs> and i think he was horrified um but i can't say enough good things about how greening my period i guess if you will sort of i wouldn't say changed my life but i just found it to be a really good product to have and I feel so much better about using this as opposed to tampons even the organic cotton ones it's much more comfortable my period is much more seamless after using this there was a bit of a learning curve I would say that the first two to three months that you're using it it feels weird and there definitely are some there's some messiness associated with it we're all friends here we can talk about our periods it's fine um, but I just, I think that it's such a good investment. I would encourage every menstruating woman to look into this, to read about it, to try it out. I, they're not cheap. They're probably 35 to $40. Um, but I mean, think about it. It would pay for itself in however many months from boxes of tampons that you would buy. And I just... I honestly feel like it made a big difference in how I experience my period. And since it's something that, you know we do so frequently I think it's totally worth it and yeah so I, I obviously use this during my period and then every time my period is done I disinfect it in boiling water and put it back in its little bag until next month and yeah I cannot say enough good things about how essential I think this is for every woman who's trying to have a greener healthier lifestyle and then my last product that I would recommend is a foam roller. This is mine. It's quite small. If you've seen these at the gym or if you have a different one, they come in like lots of different um, styles and sizes and stuff. Like normally they're much longer and they are foam. This one is kind of a, I mean, this one is foam too, but it's got kind of the ridges on it, which is supposed to be for kind of extra myofacial massage, which is what these are used for. I really love rolling out my muscles. I love getting massages and this is kind of a similar idea. It's like a way to massage your own muscles pretty much. Um, there's tons of videos and sort of techniques for how to roll out your body. I normally will start on my um, 
like sitting down and I'll roll out my calves and the back of my legs and my butt and my back and then I'll flip over to the front and do my shins, the front of my thighs and then sometimes I'll also like be lying forward and put it right here and then kind of roll around my um, arm socket and stuff. And you know, if you go to a good chiropractor or a good massage therapist, all of them will recommend doing work on a foam roller. And I think particularly if you have a desk job or you commute in the car, both of which I have done and still do to some extent, I find sort of a daily way to relieve muscle tension to just promote a much, a much more balanced sense of well-being and kind of gets me back in touch with my body and it's also very relaxing. Um, so I would highly recommend having a foam roller around and incorporating that into your daily or you know weekly routine or whatever you have time for. <clears throat> so those are my sort of current I guess top five products that jump to mind that I would recommend anyone that's trying to you know lead a more natural healthy lifestyle to look into and research and maybe try and incorporate because I think that they're money savers, well-being promoters, and just generally great products to have around. So, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so it's time for another shopping video. I don't really shop that much, but I guess as it's turning...